All right, guys, you've seen my guy here in the videos before. He got the middle part last time, came in today looking crazy. We're gonna show you guys an all scissor haircut on the sides, and then we'll do a little taper on the sides and back and get him cleaned up. All right, guys, so as usual, we're gonna start off crown to recession, partings, we're gonna start. You see I'll shake his hair out, find his crown, and go up each side, go ahead and section that off, and then we can start our scissor work. I guess we're gonna do similar to what we do with our black graduation. We're gonna set a line here. Just gonna pull this length out. This is gonna determine our length on the side. So he's liking this long swept back look. We're just gonna basically do a trim about a half inch off. We're gonna cut our line in right here. And this is gonna be our guide for the whole side of the head. So we're only worried about cutting that top section here. We're just gonna work from front to back. Nice consistent guideline. And I'll show you guys what we do after that. Now what we're gonna do, and this is hard to see on camera, so I'm gonna hopefully show you guys where you can see okay. We're gonna take a diagonal section, comb it down, and then our guide is gonna be at the top that we already cut. So I'm gonna bring this, try not to block the camera, bring this out. You guys see we have a guide at the top. Follow that down, grab this bottom. And then we're gonna blow dry in style and do this taper right here. So we're not really worried about all this underneath. Let's we'll take another section. Let's work our way from the front to the back. All right guys, I'm switching the angle here. I wanna to try to let you guys see what we're doing a little bit more in depth. So comb our guide down, get this top line. You just hold it with your thumb out of the way like this. Get your section when you pull it out. And you guys will see my short bit at the top. While it's in my hand, I'll grab my next section. Bring it down, keep adding to it. Oh, my big head ain't in the way. It's close. All right, guys, so again, diagonal, comb it down. I apologize if you guys can't see. I'm trying my best to let you see it. So we'll pull it up, and you guys see our guide at the top. Let's see if you guys can see that. You see up here, it's short. We got the long hairs underneath. I'm cutting this super funky, guys, because I'm trying to stay out of the way. So work our way down. There's our guide at the top. Boom. Same line, guide. Um, and we'll add to it, comb it down, and we're just gonna work our way across the back diagonally, guys. When we do the other side, we'll work our way back to this section right here. See, there's our guide. Follow it down. That's it. So we're gonna do a taper at the bottom. So we don't have to worry about getting all this. We'll bring our clip work right into it. All right guys, so just like normal, we're gonna part it down the middle or follow his natural growth pattern. So we're looking for either. I'm going from the crown straight up, creating these comb lines. I'm gonna step around in the front and see what it looks like it wants to do. I don't see anything dramatic here. So we're just gonna kind of split it there. Like I said, guys, if it shows you an obvious split, you need to go with that. If it doesn't, pretty much do it down the middle. We'll just, we're just gonna balance everything out. So it's not too important that we, um, besides if they have a crazy calic, we wanna, we wanna work off the calic. But if they don't have it, we'll just go from here. So, all right guys, so now we're just gonna connect the top to the guy that we started with. So you see, I pull this out, I pull it up. My guy's underneath, connect it all together. We wanna leave a little length in the front. So as we start to get to the front, we're gonna pivot out, connect to it, and we'll have our longest part in the front. And you guys can see he actually doesn't have that much length in the front. So I'm actually gonna come back here, start at the longest point in the front, angle it back, and we will connect that to the line that we have. And you guys can see when we comb this back, we get a nice, 
nice flow right here. And when we blow dry it, it's really gonna work. I guess the same as normal, nothing new here. We're just gonna pull this up. We should have a guide on each side that's gonna fall out. You see it's falling out, falling out. Straight across, we'll work our way front to back. Just one section, guys, right here through the middle. And we're done with the top. All right, guys, so we're going to do a nice loose blow dryer, not looking for a finished style here. That's gonna allow us to come in and do our clipper work. So a little bit of statement grooming spray. You guys know I like this. It's just gonna give us a slight hold and some heat protectant as we blow dry. Kind of hold the hair in place while we come in and finish our clipper work. So just a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna come in with the blow dryer and get it how we want. I guess so now we just come in and do our same steps. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, and balled out, we're gonna clean this beard up a little bit. So we're gonna disconnect it here. Balled it out, same steps as normal now. This haircut is something a lot of people see as difficult. Well, we do all that setup and now we can just come in. We're just doing a regular taper now, it's nothing crazy. We'll just do our regular taper, open section. Work our way up until it's blended in, line up around the ears and you see we got all this length on top. Nice flowed back haircut, nice and easy. Close clipper at the bottom of the section, half open, done. Let's keep working our way up. Same thing on the other side, nice and easy. I think we let ourselves get, make it over complicated because of all the hair that's up here. We don't have to cut all this hair up here that we already cut. We're just gonna work our way up and try to really do as little work as possible. So I'm just kind of trying to flick out, same steps. We're trying to get, get away and blend it in without having to cut a ton of hair. We wanna make it as easy as possible. Do as little damage as possible. Once we start getting into all this hair up here, we're in trouble because we're gonna have to recut all of that. We have a lot of length up there to allow us to comb that hair back. As soon as we cut a little bit too much of that, now we're gonna have to adjust the whole haircut. So we're really trying to touch as little as possible and get out and just blend into this length that we have up above. And that's why I went ahead and blow dried it how I wanted it. So I know it's laying where it's gonna lay. Nice and easy taper up into it. And this super difficult haircut is, becomes a lot easier. this in the beginning because it wasn't really long enough. So we're gonna just take our four, blend in, and then we can come in and do our taper underneath the four. All right guys, so now same as normal, same as the other side. We're gonna ball it out with our trimmer, get it all the way down the skin, come in with the shaver and go ahead and ball that out. We can start our first step going up. All right guys, next up, same as usual, open clipper. We're gonna set our guideline in. We'll start to take it out from the bottom. Next up guys, one guard all the way open. And again, we're trying a little bit more conservative here. We're flicking out, we're doing a little bit smaller guidelines. We got a lot of hair to cut into, so. We just want to tighten this up a little bit. Not as generous. We don't want to go as as big. 
and don't space it out as much. Just be a little more careful because we do have so much hair up above. But still the same steps, just a little bit tighter. So open, and we can go close. Start to take the line out. Half guard halfway open in between those two. We started with a four, so we can go to our three. We'll go three close. We're just gonna work our way down. This is where we fade down, guys. So I really fade up with our smaller guards. We'll fade down with our bigger guards. So we start with a four. Now we'll do a three, a little bit above this last line. Then we'll come in with a two, work on that line a little bit more. We'll take it most of the way out. And then obviously, guys, you already know, one and a half guard, halfway open. And we should have this the rest of the way blended together. Guys, one of the hardest parts of this cut because for one, how the length of the hair behind the ear, and for two, he specifically has some difficult hair here to line up. So we're just gonna start lining it up and then we will come in with a comb and get it, you know, cut down if we need to. But I'm just obviously guys, same as normal, cutting off as little as possible, but still getting a nice sharp line. So I'm actually gonna start down here where I can see where the hair is, work our way up. Remember guys, he's got like an inch of hair back here. So we're not really cutting off into the hairline, we're just cutting off those kind of like bangs, same as you would in the front. It's hanging over the hairline. So we wanna make sure we get a nice sharp hairline. So we'll work our way up that straight line, come in and work around the ear. And if we need, we can use our comb like this. Shorten it up a little bit, make sure we can get a nice sharp line on it. So we're pretty much done. Just a super loose blow dry here at the end. It's already pretty much styled. So I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit more of this statement spray, just for a little bit more hold, a little bit more product we will put on at the end. And now I'm just gonna start working my last blow dry. guys we're coming in with my space wax you guys already know what I like to use this is gonna give us just a little bit more control see he's got this springy hair on the side so it's gonna help us kind of hold that down a little bit better give us kind of a nice finished look I'll go ahead and run it through the top and then we can kind of come in with our wide tooth comb and I might just use my fingers to style it but leave it a little bit looser better than the middle part you guys saw him in the middle part haircut what'd your wife say about the middle part she like it no she's like she didn't like it she was like what did he do what did he do to you it's perks of being my client you get to get silly haircuts sometimes and just to be on YouTube so you guys see I just kind of use that to hold these sides down and we can come in and use a wide tooth comb if we want I think I like this this kind of finger waved look just a little bit looser so Alright guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Guys, I'm trying to bring you as much scissor work and clipper work, some tool unboxings, some vlogs, everything you guys have been seeing from me. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of all that content I've been dropping. If you guys do like the content, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my drops coming soon. And before we hop off here, guys, my class in Kentucky is coming up November 13th. You guys don't want to miss it. If you're anywhere nearby, make sure you guys grab your tickets. The link is in the description.